fucking day. It's yeah. literally snowing on us. We're heading down the west to go and explore this other creek. Try something a bit different this time. We've got sluices packed. Not bother a metal detecting. We're just going to see if we can sample a couple of different pin zones within this area and see what has been deposited over millions of years as opposed to recent floods and stuff. But the west coast of Tassie's turning it on yet again. Oh, you gotta love it. Right, we'll see you down the creek. Look at all the clobber and gear I'm carrying. And old Stu's loaded up like a bloody pack mule. We're back down here at our, one of our creeks. Let's face it, there's hundreds of them. Not a bad forest to play at all. Look at that thing. Also, not a lot of big trees in here. Tells you a fair bit about the country. The human piners are up in here, so they had a good time making some money. I'm not sure how the human piners got the human pine out, because well down this creek, there's a proper old gorge, and it's tight, steep, and twisty. I'd suggest that things got jammed in there and stuck. So, who knows? I reckon somewhere here is worth testing. Okay there. Yeah. So that's a deep hole. Or do we just go up here and then work our way back? Either or. Either or. I, just, I do like that. You so do I. So what we've got here is two geological anomalies. We're right on the boundary, right now in between, two different types of rock. So the one behind us is the main creek we've walked down. And this one's a feeder creek from another old show running in from up above. <laughs> There's potential for there to be some gold here. So we're gonna have a look and just see, eh? Because I'm a bit sick of this bloody walking business. Carrying all my clobber. And here's the other geological formation. But you need up into the hills, there's water races all through here as well. All the way on this inside bend around the mountain, there's water races, so we'll just see what's in this stuff. Sandstone looking stuff. Crikey, so we're in our creek. Stews, loosen. Lots of this stuff just breaks apart. That's what you want, you want that decomposing bedrock. And I've got a crevice here I'm working, so I'll just keep at it. This black sand has a piece. There's another piece. There is gold in <laughs> But it's tiny. So there's, I don't know, six or seven bits just there. Barely worth your time. Yeah, snuff of them up, we'll go again. Try some gravels this time. So there was tiny little dots up there, not worth my time. Got to test these spots, you never know. So here we've got bedrock chunks, narrows up. The rocks that are here are quite coarse. And um, yeah, how'd you go? Plenty of black sands. That's a great sign. Fines up the top. Look at the fine gold. Oh, it's 40 odd bits there. Yeah, it's easy 40 bits there. Problem is, it's small gold. <laughs> The creek that we come off of had big gold in it. Tiny, tiny micro dots. But there's lots of them. But you're a lot, a lot, a lot of pans to get any weight. Doc, 
see what's in here. I'll show you. There's a lot of the black sands in there. Pretty heavy with black sands. The black sands is a great thing because it sits on top of your gold. So when you're panning, it kind of locks it in. I'm sure you guys can see those three bits, four bits. See them? I literally dug about a cup full of material. So that's cool. Yeah, snuff them up. Oh, snuff them up. It's really fly shit though, let's be honest. Good day. Right. Alright, let's try some gravels. There you go. Winning? Fly poo. Fly poo? Yeah. Let's have a look, Stu. Oh, that's a nice looking bit. Look at that. That's nice. Like I rechecked that because I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's a great piece. So Stu's found a couple of bits with some ironstone in it, and a little bit of quartz and a little bit of gold with ironstone in it. And I've been busting up this sandstone here, just having a look. And look at that blue clay. Notorious for having gold in it. Everywhere I've dug the blue clay, I found gold. That doesn't mean that I will here. But um, anyway, we'll pan it. Alright, black sands. Good start. Oh, let's see what we got. It's all I'm getting today is dots. Bloody day. That's alright. That happens. Better having dots and no dots. Dots is dots. I'll take lots of dots. Again, tiny little micro dots. How'd you go? Yeah, Ben. You're getting down there now. That's the go. So just sucked out this little crevice there, and got that little piece there. You want to go sniping but you don't feel like getting wet? That's the tool for the job. So there's another little intrusion of that sandstone behind this mottled black stuff here too. Yeah, that's a better flake. Must be, must be alright if you can see it back there, Barty. I'm gonna go down that one, Tess. You know, and I reckon a lot of this was done in the 30s, yeah. 30s and 40s after the war, because that's when the big push was on for new mineral deposits and whatnot. We're digging below the flood zone. The flood zone's, you know, top of Stu's bag there. So we're digging below that. We're not disturbing any plants. We're just following this crevice into the bank. And the last two bits we've suckered out of it had two reasonable pieces of gold. So we're just going to persist on that and do a test in another couple of feet. That's the nature of testing a new spot, is literally testing places. You don't get to know it by straipsing around and digging where everybody else digs. You've got to dig in a little bit different spots. Little baby hue and pine. Look at it. So we've continued walking down this creek and look how much it's opened up. There's some big quartz just there. See where they've terraced it. Yeah, is this for a forest though? I'm just wondering where they had their sluice boxes set up. Nice big straight is what they had. 
See what they were benching and testing, eh? So how do you figure out where to dig? And how do I figure out where do I leave my bucket? Well, these tailings piles would be a good place for the detector we didn't bring. But the game is, you pick up where they stopped. You figure out where they had their sluice boxes. And then you work at the end of them. Because they are only catching 40 or 50% of the gold. They were missing quite a bit of it because their sluice boxes were either a river sluice, so they dug cracks into the clay, put tin over it, punched holes in the tin, and just shoveled the gravel with the gold in it across it. Well, that ain't going to catch much. It's also what they had. So Stu dug some from up on the hill over there. I dug some out from where the, they'd finished sluicing. So they washed it all down with their nozzle and pushed it into their sluice boxes and into the creek. So the last part was where they were was where I started digging. And a bucket full. We'll see what's uh, in it, if anything. Good fun, this. Real clean looking quartz, though. Fly foos. Fly is good, that's something. And this is a river that some good nuggets are pulled out of. Tell this stuff's never been dug before because it's silty. Very silty. Doesn't look like there's iron stone or anything, it's just quartz. It's just all quartz. It's just iron. It is up where I was digging. All the iron stone seems to be down here in the creek. Nothing in it. This is all part of testing the creek. You gotta you just gotta try spots. You know, I've had days where I've tested creeks and it's like holy crap, there's gold everywhere. Other creeks, just nothing in it. Well I got nothing out of that first pan. Not a speck. So imagine when there's a couple hundred miners all down here turning this creek into just silk. Would have been hard to pan like. I hope we've done some pans today. I thought it'd be a bit sore, huh? Oh, I'm pretty sore. <laughs> One micro dot. A little ring of black sand through here. That can stay there. I'm not going to bother sucking that up. Yeah, this place has worked for five or six years on and off back in the day when there was a big gold rush down here and then everybody buggered off to other areas like the long back and up towards the Savage River and over towards the Rocky River and they never finished work at this place. And when the workers leave, the big companies that were trying to set it all up for hydraulic sluicing didn't have any workers, so they couldn't finish the, the job. And they came back in here with big monitors and washed the, the banks into sluice boxes in the creek here and they only caught about 40% of the gold, they washed most of it away. It should still be here somewhere. Not worth the time. As you can see. One, two, three, oh, four. A lot of black sand. Nah, test somewhere else. It's cool. Yep. This is what he got for the day. I haven't got much, so I'm not going to bother. We worked like five different creeks, so. You should be right, roll it back. It all away, did you? Yeah, no, no, some bits in there. Look at it. Well, we're heading out. We got a hell of a walk. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. If we ever get out of here alive, because right now we're both knackered. Norma wants a beer. My back hurts. My bucket's really heavy. My pants have fallen down. We've got to walk over all these bloody water races. Why'd they have to do so much digging? Why couldn't they just make a nice smooth path? We shall resume clambering over the old tailings piles. I think I've got my winch muscles flexing. <laughs>